So welcome to the quick video cliff notes when it comes to the comparison between Unbounce and Elementor. So pretty much what I have to say about both of these is that Elementor is going to be a WordPress plugin and it's going to be great for creating any type of website page but not only that making your websites look very spiffy you know up to date and kind of better than what the competitors in your niche are going to look like on the other hand you have unbounce which is primarily focused on creating landing pages as it says right here with no coding required also they are great when it comes to creating higher converting landing pages thanks to many of their features such as the unbounce conversion intelligence then of course they have many things like pop-ups uh, alert bars excuse me sticky bars split test Testing and so on and so forth. So before we kind of get a better comparison, let's take a look at the pricing really quick, just so you know what to expect between both Unbounce and Elementor. So when it comes to Unbounce, they are going to be a little bit more given the fact that uh, they are about landing pages, they're more about conversions, and you know, specifically landing pages do tend to cost more than WordPress plugins. With that being said, they have launch, optimize, accelerate, and scale. Launch is going to be 80 a month. Optimize is going to be 120. Accelerate 200. Scale 300. What's included with that, as you can see right here, are going to be many more features, but kind of the main things are are going to be the conversions, the visitors, and of course the number of domains that you can use with each of the pricing plans, okay? Aside from that, there is monthly and annually where you can save 10%. Also, you can save on monthly simply by utilizing the link that I'll have down below. Not only do they come with a free trial, but that link is embedded with a special discount where if you click that, you can actually get more details. More about that later though. Let's move on over to Elementor. So Elementor is going to be much more simple. Given the fact that they are a WordPress plugin, you can also utilize them free for any number of sites. However, that's going to pretty much be the basic when it comes to Elementor. If you want to upgrade to the pro version, you can be looking at paying either $49 for one site per year. Okay, you can get the plus, which is going to be $99 a year for three sites. And if you are a <laughs> website making machine, it's going to be $199 for up to 1,000 sites if you want to use Elementor as the expert plan. Okay, so with all that being said, let's take a look at the reasons why you might want to use Unbounce or Elementor starting with Unbounce. So you want to use Unbounce if you want software that focuses 100% on creating landing pages. Now, Unbounce is all about landing pages and they are very good at it. Given the fact that Elementor can do landing pages as well because they are website pages, I personally prefer using any type of software when it comes to landing pages because they are great when it has more tools to optimizing them, getting more conversions, doing split tests, and so on and so forth. And I like that usually software companies can handle a ton of traffic, obviously depending on the plan that you get. Next, you'll probably want to use Unbounce if building your email list and making sales is more important than creating websites. Yes, I understand that you can do both of those. However, once again, Unbounce is going to be great for that given the fact that you can create landing pages, whether it's going to be for collecting leads and of course making sales. So some of the, those are the two of the biggest reasons why you might want to use Unbounce. Once again, I'll put a link down below where you can actually click that, get a free trial. It'll take you to a unique page where you actually get a discount on Unbounce simply for the fact that I get to refer you to it. So not only do you get a free trial, if you want to continue using them, you'll get a nice discount as well. Simply click that link down below to get more details about that. Okay. Then on the hand, we have Elementor, the world's leading WordPress page builder. So here are the reasons why you might want to use Elementor. You overall want a less expensive solution. So pretty much as we talked about before, you can even use this for free. It will allow you to create any type of pages that you want. And if you really don't have a lot of money, obviously Elementor is going to be the scenario if you had to pick between two of these, okay? You want to use Elementor if you plan on blogging to get organic traffic, okay? Elementor is going to be great when it comes to anything website related, which is another bullet. They are great at creating websites, helping you create websites, making them look better, you know, buffing up your blog posts, adding a lot of cool tables and headlines and images, uh, and making them really stand stand out so that the readers can get more out of them, okay? Also, you want to use Elementor if you're looking to showcase your authority and expertise, which is something that usually goes hand in hand with having any type of blog and, of course, making it look like it wasn't created, you know, in one second by someone who doesn't even know how to make a website. So those are going to be the reasons why you're going to want to use Elementor. Overall, it's pretty much if you're going to be looking to blog and do websites, it's more going to be Elementor when it comes to comparing both of these tools. Last but not least, there is the best of both worlds. You can obviously use or maybe not so obviously you can actually use both Unbounce and Elementor. So Elementor would be for your websites and creating all these great blog pages, blog posts, and so on and so forth. And then you can actually use Unbounce for all your landing page needs. Given the fact that Unbounce actually integrates with WordPress, you can do that. So you can use Unbounce for your landing pages. And as I talked about, Elementor would be for all your WordPress website 
related stuff. So there's always that option. It's not always about which one is going to be, you know, better in between two of them. You can always go with both options. And in this case, it could work very well if that's going to be for you. Nevertheless, like I said, the link will be down below where you can get started with Unbounce. Uh, Elementor, once again, you know, you can get them started for free, which is always great. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out when it comes to which one is going to be best for you. And like I said, you can always go with both. Be sure to check out that link down below if you have any interest in Unbounce. It's always going to be a great thing that you can get a discount when it comes to using software. Thank you for watching and have the best day ever.